Jai Hind students, welcome you all once again. In today's class, we are going to discuss descriptive paragraph writing. And as I was saying that question number 15, which we discussed in the previous class, will be discussed at the end of this class. Okay. Uh, now let us start what is all about descriptive paragraph. So here you can see that uh, descriptive paragraph can be written on place and person. Well, it can also be written on, th on thing, but it is reduced and in the new syllabus. And for now, you are going to learn these two things. So children, let us understand all about descriptive paragraph writing. Children, you can see here that a description is a set of characteristics by which someone or something can be recognized. Means when you are describing something, when you are telling something to anybody, so there what do you do? You describe something so that they may recognize it, they may understand it, they may know it. Suppose somebody asked you for a way and you are standing there. There you will say that you take right, take left, there you will find a post, it is blue in color, there will be a gate in red color, it will be having some rims, rods or some barricading. So there you will point out the specifications of the things so that one who is asking about the place may know it easily, may recognize it easily. So there you tell each and everything specifically. So this is the same that we do here in descriptive paragraph writing. Okay. See children, here we can describe people, places and events. Okay. By describing them, we make a sketch in words. Okay. So that the reader is able to get clear picture of the description described object okay or whatever description you have given whosoever will read it will come to know each and every thing about the topic that you were describing and a good description creates a clear mental image in the mind of the reader so if you are describing something to anybody certainly if you have followed the guidelines how to write descriptive writing will make a clear picture to the reader whatever you are talking about okay and for this you need to use a sensory information to enable readers here to enable readers use their five senses to touch uh, senses of touch taste smell hearing and sight to understand the topic of the essay means these are the most important aspects which you can highlight to make people understand what you are talking about whatever you are talking about okay so these are the important things next to this is clear and concise so these are the basic qualities of essay writing if you are writing something in your descriptive writing it must be clear number one there must be use of images means image does not mean that you are going to draw anything on uh, the paper means that you will describe something which will appear that there is a kind of image or there is something existing suppose you are writing a descriptive paragraph on in a on a room so there you will be describing all about your room, your bed, your fan, AC, your clock, and the calendars, the table, the water, mouse, mobile. How do they look like? You will describe all these things. So there the basic will be clear to the people that how the things are arranged in the room. Okay. Second is it should be concise means it should not be describing all the things that is around the point that you are describing means if you will describe all the things it would be 
very long and we have word limit from 100 to 120. So what you will do is you will describe something that is related to your point. Means what do you want to describe in your paragraph? In, in the paragraph, if you want to describe the settings of the room, so there you will tell that the fan is in this direction, the cupboard is there, the bed is there, and uh, what is above, what is around, what is beside, what is in front of, these things, because you want to show settings. If you want to so show that something is quite beautiful, so there you will describe the beauty. So to describe the beauty, you will have to tell what are the important things visible there in the room. If you want to show that room is not arranged properly, so the things which are not arranged that you will be describing. So the purpose should always retain in our mind that we want to do while writing a descriptive paragraph. Okay. I simply told you that you will describe the things but does not mean that you will describe all the things. Okay. You will describe the things which will be having association to the topic. If you are trying to show a beautiful garden, so there in the beautiful garden you will show the flowers, the tables, the chairs, whatever you find in the garden. Cemented chairs are found in the gardens, the swings, the roads, different uh, orchards or, or many other things. Because these things are highlighting the beauty, if there is a fountain, if there is any aquarium, if there is any special place for sitting, okay, if there is uh, any cafeteria. So whatever are the center of attraction in the garden, you will talk about this. So that will be describing the beauty of the garden. It is as simple. Next is, so when you do these things, it creates a picture. Okay, it creates a picture and here it is use of picture. Okay, use of five senses you have learned here there. Five senses, touch, smell, taste, hearing, sight, all these things. So when you talk about touch, it gives clear sense to the reader that whatever you are talking about is of that kind. If you are saying that it is hard in touch when you touch it it is hard or simply if it is hard like a nut so people will come to know that you are talking about something which is quite hard you can say that iron body strong like iron you, you will say that it is really uh, chilly so there you are describing taste it is odor you are describing smell so Harsh, cracking, cacophony, noise, you are describing here, hearing, okay. So, so soothing, so here you are describing the sight. So in the way, these senses help us to understand the thing. And when you use these things to describe any of the aspect you are talking about in your writing section, makes your uh, writing section, descriptive writing, appealing, easy and interesting. Next is children. It must not conclude opinions or speculations because this is not about story writing. In the story writing, you give your imaginations, you give your, you can say fallacies, the same thing is that you bring uh, certain other points means you're in you invent your uh, story from any way but here it is not done like that here in the examination you will be given a topic and there some hints may be given and you are supposed to only create the paragraph which would be describing the topic topic because the simple concept in this descriptive writing is that you are describing something to somebody okay so there you sh you are not supposed to give your opinions or speculations means your guess okay so that you must keep in your mind next is as far as 
clear concise language is concerned means if we talk about that your language should be simple and uh, concise it is necessary to describe things precisely means there it does not mean that uh, concise does not mean that you will make use of uh, limited wordings okay yeah there is limit of word but it does not mean that uh, in that pursuit you will not uh, talk about the important things here concise means that you will make use of appropriate word okay the appropriate words make our sentences short and easy to understand so here this is uh, regarding concise language next is children Uh, imagery is used to make things seem real and remarkable imagery once again that uh, you talk in stories something that you imagine so if you are talking Im imaginary something so there it should also be in association to something that you are describing to the people if you are describing any hotel to any people so their imagery means something which is not the real or not the given in the question or even not given in the hints so there whatever you are talking about suppose you are talking about a doom and doom is looking like doom of uh, gold gumbaj or any mosque or any temple so there you will be uh, sh showing your association of the mall doom of the mall to any mosque so there you are showing your imaginary okay and uh, it should also be remarkable just to make people understand that what you are talking about how does it look like okay and how does it look like next is the use of five senses creates the imagery and a mental picture for each reader so that's simple if you are making use of uh, five senses easily people will be able to understand what you are talking about next is format so there should be a heading okay and uh, the heading would be means the topic that would be given in the question the same thing will be your heading next is the first sentence that includes the main idea of the paragraph so when you write heading after that you should describe the same thing in the first paragraph okay we shall have uh, ample examples okay let us understand the format there is nothing special only heading and then paragraph these are the two things very simple you are not required to write any name like you write in article writing supporting details the hints would be given in the questions if even if hints are not given you can invent on your own they come after the topic sentence making up the body of the description you, whenever you describe it becomes the supporting details whatever you are describing they give details to develop and support the main idea so whatever you are describing would be describing the heading okay next is closing sentence this is the last sentence it relates the main idea and sums up the thought thoughts using different words so the closing is not written like any application or uh, any other story it is just simple whatever you are describing it should uh, be related to it now let us have some uh, important aspects about uh, describing if you are uh, describing people so what you will say you will talk about height tall short medium height if you are describing a person to somebody how will you describe how do people look like suppose somebody asked you do you know ramesh they will say yeah i know ramesh he is a tall guy he is a short guy he is medium height guy okay if somebody asks you about any building is somebody asks you about anything you will say yes build thin under wet weight plump means when you uh, fall on something drop something so that is called plump suppose you you threw something on the sofa so it sank uh, so this is 
plump, strong, steady, fat, overweight. If you are talking about hair, you will say long hair, long, short, curly, black, brown, gray. So how you are describing these things are used here. Okay. Next is eyes. If you are describing, see these are the uh, aspects which you are uh, using through senses that you have learned here in the beginning. These touch, taste, smell, hearing, sight. Okay, these things are being described here. Next is complexion. If you are describing a person, face, beard, mustaches, bushy eyebrows, broken teeth, and broad chin, thick lips, long face. All these are to describe a person. Appearance, good looking, charming, ugly, smart, handsome beautiful these are the things that you can describe when you are talking about a person in your descriptive paragraph qualities sincere intelligent diligent warm diligent means working hard and patient soft spoken self selfish kind honest innovative confident and punctual so these are the qualities that you can talk about a person to describe anybody's character that will be a describing paragraph if you are describing a place what you will write in your descriptive paragraph you will first of all talk about the place then location then history and what does it look like size appearance atmosphere you know very well when we meet to any person we generally talk about the places politics and atmosphere these are the things means climate we talk about the climate as we call somebody after some time so what do we ask them so how's the weather there suppose you are having a friend in delhi and you are meeting him or uh, talking to him or meeting uh, him after a long period of time so how you will talk and what you will talk you will talk about the things there the atmosphere the climate weather what are the what are the things he does so these are the things which are being uh, discussed. Next is, what is special about place? So why that place is special that you will describe? What do you like there? It is matter of concern. Do you recommend other people to visit it? Yes. So these things are the most important aspect. Okay, aspects which are basically used to write a perfect writing section in descriptive piece okay now i'm having this example for you learn this how to write a perfect descriptive paragraph i'm having three examples uh, and two in addition which will make you comfortable in uh, writing a descriptive paragraph let us see these things this is the first paragraph this is the second paragraph this is the third paragraph it is quite simple if you are asked to write a paragraph on your mother so how you will describe these these are the things that you will describe let us see the third one first because it is uh, interesting uh, to my mind okay quite appealing and interesting hope you all will like this paragraph because uh, this is on mother and uh, I believe that you all also love your mother very much. Let us see this. If the question is given, describe your mother to your school friends, how you will describe? See, the here in this question, no any uh, hint is given. No hint is given in this question. So here you will invent all the things on your own. Inventing means you are talking about your mother on your own. No line is given in the question. Okay, but in most of the questions in, ex in examinations, the hint is, uh, hints are given there. Okay, so let us see if we do not have hint how the things are written. Let us see. Here, without any doubt, my mother is most important person in my life. And most powerful individual I know. She is very beautiful and has the kindest eyes that I have ever seen. She not only worked hard to ensure that I had a good upbringing, but 
was also very strict and often punished me and whenever I went wrong. Even though I did not like the punishment then, I now look back and realize that it was meant to lovingly correct me and help me to follow the right path when growing up. My siblings means younger brothers and sisters. My siblings and I have always taken pride in the appearance of our mother, especially her loving, lovely long hair. Even though I have seen very warm, beautiful people, very few ladies match the beauty of my mother. One of the reasons that I and my siblings were especially fond of my mother is the way she used to take care of us, especially when we were ill. She is very knowledgeable lady who made a variety of home remedies to help take care of the minor illness that we had as children. Next is my siblings means younger brothers and sisters as I told you and I did not like to see our mother sad and would do just about nothing to bring a smile to her face. Interestingly, even when she was very worried and sad about something, she would always smile to make us stop worrying about her. That's how she is, I mean, how the mother is being described. So it is very easy for you because you know your mother the most. The next is, my mother not only loved those around her but also compassionate. Means she was also compassionate, means sympathy, having sympathy. We often observed her compassion towards our neighbors, especially when a new neighbor moved in or when one of the neighbors was going through the, a hard time. My mother was a good cook who always left us cooking forward, looking forward to the next meal. Just the memory of the foods that my mother prepared for us makes me salivate to salivate to these present days. Salivate means having slivas, means release of saliva in your mouth. So this is the way the things are written. Okay. Now let us see some other examples. Here, yeah. how the things are described beautifully. Children, with this example that you read on uh, my mother. Uh, you would have understood how you are describing you you described your look look of your mother you described mood of your mother you described the attitude of your mother how she dealt with you in the past when you were a child how she she was punishing you how she was admiring you all these things means uh, it is not the word used there but i am just telling you how they were describing about their mother they were describing about the uh, activities she was doing how she was by heart. So all these things are all about the sensory motors of uh, touch, feel, see, smell, all these things. Okay. So these things were just written in this uh, descriptive paragraph. Let us see one more example here. It will make your uh, descriptive writing easy when you will be writing in your notebook. Children, it, this is here. This is uh, something which you are not required to write. That is why it is given in bracket. Okay. But in examination, you need not to write anything with your paragraph heading. Okay. The first thing is heading. And second thing is the paragraph. There are only two things in descriptive paragraph or descriptive writing. Okay. None other of these two are required to write in any way. Okay, so let us see this. Our lit here, the, the, the heading is the corner store. You are describing a store. Keep it in your mind that you are describing a store. So to describe a store, what you will do? You will describe the things inside the store. You will describe the things outside the store. You will describe how the store look like. You will describe why the store is important. These are the things that you can do to describe a store. Let us see what is given in the paragraph. 
our little store rose right up from the sidewalk. Standing in a street of family houses, it alone hadn't any yard in front. Means it was not having any yard in front as uh, the other stores are having. Any tree or flower bed, it was also not having any tree or flower, uh, flower bed. It was a plain frame building covered with brick. Above the door, a little railed porch. Rail means railing or you call it grill. A little railed porch can across, uh, ran across on an upstairs level and four windows with shades were looking out. But I didn't catch on to those. He says, then running in out of the sun, you met what seemed total obscurity inside. Obscurity means dark. When, means when you enter in the store you are talking about, so you will find obscurity, dark inside it. Next is, there were almost tangible smells. Means here, tangible means that can be touched, but here smells cannot be touched. Means you can feel it. Okay. You can hear uh, something which is uh, palpable. Means you can feel by touch. So here something, uh, smell is written, which cannot be touched. But in the way you can write, it is called fancy writing in English writings. So what do you find there when you enter inside? There are almost tangible smells of licorice. Licorice is a kind of toffee, hard, brittle toffee, chocolate you call it. Recently sucked in a child's cheek. He is describing that when you enter, you find that there is a licorice, a kind of toffee, which is recently eaten, suck or eaten by any child and dill pickle brine so dill is a plant of carrot family okay dill is a plant of carrot family and pickle you know pickle and uh, brine is water salted or strongly um, impregnated with common salt when something which you a kind of pickle made up of uh, plant of carrot is filled with salt that is dill pickle brine okay you can call it a kind of toffee that had leaked it was leaking the, there you would have uh, ever uh, if you would have ever eaten any chocolate which would which is uh, which is having any fillings in it you would have uh, eaten pearls so in the pearls there are something filled with salt so same kind of thing is there okay next is children Threw a paper sack in a fresh trail across the wooden floor. Means everything was uh, stretched. Trailed means here stretched, scattered. Ammonia loaded ice. So ammonia, you know very well that it is a kind of uh, gas, a pungent colorless gas of alkaline compound of uh, nitrogen and hydrogen. You would have read in this in chemistry that I had been hoisted from wet crocker sack. Means some. Uh, wet sacks bora jisko aap bolte hain okay gila bora kuch rakha hua tha and slammed into the ice box which was some of it uh, was fallen with its sweet butter at the door and perhaps the smell of uh, still uh, untrapped mice means plural of rat to is tarike se in the way you write the things okay this description of little store uh, is uh, not only clear concise but also has image and sensory information about the store building so children it's very easy to describe the things if you are having the uh, hints and even if you are not having the hint it is quite easy as you have seen in this example my mother these are two examples it's questions for your uh, homework that you will be writing in your fair notebook okay and I would also like to show you some other examples. These, these are the other examples in the question, in the examination. You will see the things in the way. Okay. Question, hint and then you will be writing. And children, something that you have read already is story. The sound of music, Ustad Bismillah. Suppose the topic is Ustad Bismillah. So you will, uh, kya you will describe all about Ustad Bismillah ka in the way. Okay. And uh, last is children, this which I was saying that I will discuss at the end. So here you are. I was saying that when you are using uh, 
neither nor either or when any these things are used in any sentence so there you will use singular verb but when the first sound noun when there are two subjects and the first is singular and second is plural so there you will use uh, plural verb okay if the if there are two subjects the first is singular and second is plural so there you will use plural verb because the second is plural and it is nearest to the verb and in the same way if the first is plural and second is singular so there you will use singular verb for example harsh and his friends you will write r because friends is coming near to the verb in the way friends of ravi and mahesh so friends of ravi first subject is plural and mahesh mahesh is singular so you will write is in the way that's all in today's class children in the next class we shall start new chapter from moments and it's chapter number 6 take care of yourself have a nice day thank you very much